We have here a 2007 Mini Cooper and the customer's complaint is there's a check engine light on and it has a major reduction in power. I did test drive the vehicle as soon as it got here and uh, power is normal at first and then uh, f after a very short time of driving the power just goes away. Um, this is not a turbo model or a supercharged model, it's, um, it's a base model, although it does have an S on the side of it which I think somebody added. This is not an S model. So um, let's scan for trouble codes and see what trouble codes are in there. Uh, the customer did mention that it needed a camshaft position sensor. That's what he thought it needed to fix it. And uh, we'll uh, do some checks and figure it out and see if we can get it fixed. So we're scanning this with the Alltail Max Assist. Select Mini. In automatic selection, and down here you click read, and it will pull the VIN out of it. And there's our VIN down here. You click OK, and it asks you if this is your vehicle. You hit yes. We go to diagnosis. We could do an auto scan, but we're just going to scan the engine computer for now. The drive, DME, and read codes. And we have a 283D for Venos exhaust adaptation stop. That basically means the adaptation has reached its limit. It's tried to adapt uh, as far as it can and it's uh, reached its limit on the exhaust camshaft. And then 288D exhaust camshaft to crankshaft correlation. Now it might be best for me to scan this on OBD2 mode so we get some OBD2 code numbers because a lot of times those are more helpful when you're googling it or when you're uh, looking for information on YouTube. And I'll get those numbers also. So I just switched over to OBD2 mode in uh, in the Alltail, and it gives me P014 and I'm sorry P0014 for camshaft position timing over advanced or system performance bank one. Uh, I guess I shouldn't forget the B there. B camshaft position timing over advanced or system performance and then P0017 crankshaft position camshaft position correlation bank one sensor B so that would you that's what you'd get if you used a little code checker the codes that we have are related to the Vano system Vanos is like a variable camshaft system and uh, there is an adaptation to the Vano system and it's in the service area not the diagnosis area and then you go to powertrain engine electronics it is an adjustment and then Vanos adaptation it says the Vanos adaptations will be deleted and you hit continue it wants a terminal change switch off the ignition wait for 10 seconds then switch on the ignition again I'll probably edit this to give you a shorter video time but I'm going to turn the ignition off Wait for 10 seconds. Seconds. 1, 2, 8, 9, 10. Turn the ignition on. Hit continue. It says adaptation values were reset. Continue and the learning routines are being performed. It gives you a wait time of 27 seconds. I don't really know what it's doing during this time when the engine's off, but there is clicking and stuff going on out there. And it says the Vanos adaptations are being performed. Start the engine. And continue. 
it says run the engine for one minute it does I don't know if you could hear that but it does make the engine stumble and stuff but it keeps the idle up high at uh, about 1100 rpm if your idle isn't going up to 1100 rpm the adaptation isn't running Now during this time what I think is happening is the computer commands the cam timing all the way one direction and then all the way the other direction and takes a reading and it does that for the intake cam and for the exhaust cam and it will display this data when we're done. So that gives you the ability to know what it's doing and how far the spread is and be able to diagnose it based on that. Okay, it says stop engine switch off terminal 15. That's basically turning the key off. Hit continue. Switch on terminal 15. Now this does have a, a push button type key. It does not have an actual key. So you need to make sure you actually are turning it on. The dash lights are coming it on. Because there is an intermediate position where you turn it on and it doesn't really turn the ignition on if that makes any sense and it gives you adaptation value for the exhaust spread at 18.2 degrees and adaptation for the intake spread at 154.6 and it says here are the, are the adaptation values within tolerances it says adaptation value exhaust spread 18.2 and it's supposed to be between 35 and 67 that's definitely outside of specifications for the exhaust and it says adaptation value intake spread uh, 154 and it says it should be between 134 and 167 that's inside of specifications and down here it says are they within tolerances and in this case it's no and it says Vanos adaptation was not successful read memory fault codes and correct any faults and repeat the test module if I'd have clicked yes, even though it was outside of specifications, it would have said yes, it's the adaptation was successful. Which is stupid. So we hit continue. Uh, just for informational sake, I want to go in there and see if those numbers are displayed in the data stream. Because I didn't see anything in the data stream that was too problematic. Valve gear, that's where the Vanos information is. Vanos adaptation exhaust bank 150. Now that's definitely not what we had. And 154.6. If I remember right, let me check real quick. We had adaptation value spread on, on the exhaust for 18.2 and the intake spread was 154.6. The inlink bank 1 is showing the same number that was displayed at the end of our adaptation procedure but the exhaust is definitely not. I assume this 50 is a substituted value since the code is in there and since the adaptation did not run successfully. And as a diagnostic test we did change the Vano solenoid from front to back. Uh, it didn't change anything. I thought maybe if the uh, problem was being caused by the Vano solenoid then uh, then the code would then move to the um, intake side but it did not. I had Mariah pull the valve cover on this Mini and I think we've identified the problem. I uh, wonder where those pieces are supposed to be. Obviously uh, this bracket is supposed to look like this and all this stuff is gone so most likely this will fix our problem. Uh, we need to find those pieces though, may even need to pull the oil pan to uh, extract some of that plastic because that will end up in the oil pickup tube and cause an oil pressure problem. But might be a possibility to just put this in and hope for the best, but honestly I'm pretty sure it needs tensioner and uh, the two rails and the timing chain has been wearing against that metal part there also, so I'm sure I need to do the whole timing belt job. So I think we found a chunk of the guide rail after pulling the harmonic balancer. There it is right there. I'll probably video it some after we get it out too. Well we've got all the timing belt components out. 
that's the chunk that we were looking for, the chunk that we saw through the engine front main seal. So two pieces of the uh, guide that was broken on the top. Got a new seal installed right there. And I think Mariah's getting ready to put it back in. Anytime you do a repair on the Vanos system, you would have to do a relearn on the Vanos just like I did to uh, diagnose it. And so we'll go through that process again here real quick. And it's also a good confirmation to show you that it's inside range now. Um, because the numbers that it outputs with regards to Vanos position um, show you that it's inside range. Show you that the spread is correct. Once again, the Vanos adaptation is in the service department, service area, not in the not in the diagnosis. Now it's deleting the Thanos adaptation. I want you to switch off the ignition. Wait. And switch the ignition on again. And the adaptation values were reset. Learning routines takes 28 seconds. And it says the van vanoceptations are being performed. Start engine. And you got to hit the continue button down here. Engine speed has increased, and I think you probably heard that. The RPM went up. And it wants you to run the engine, let the engine run for a minute while the RPM's up like that. And stop engine, switch off. And hit the continue button down here. Switch the ignition on. Continue button down here. And it says adaptation value exhaust spread 54 degrees. Adaptation value intake spread 150. And then we hit continue. And adaptation value exhaust spread 54 degrees. Set point is 35 to 67, and 54 is definitely inside that. that range. Adaptation value intake spread 150. Set point is 134 to 167 and that's definitely within the um, spread also. So we hit yes here and it says Vanos adaptation successful. Hopefully this is a fixed car. We'll go drive it and see. And of course our check engine light is still on, we need to clear the codes. Wants me to click read codes to verify and no fault codes detected. And I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but the engine definitely was not running perfect until I cleared the codes. So that's a very necessary step. Well, I road tested the car and all the power is returned. It runs really, really good. So I'd assume that the computer notices the uh, Vanos problems and restricts power as a limp mode. 
this is not an S model, it doesn't have turbo, but uh, it restricts power um, when the Vanos trouble codes trigger. If this video has helped you, or if you want to see more Mini Cooper videos, like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, put a comment down below. Visit my website at www.kansascitytdi.com.